Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematics Pasala. This is Norris. Today I will discuss this problem which came in CHR UGC net December 2023 in part B. This question from classical mechanics. Let's see the question. Let Z denote the acceleration due to the gravity and A greater than zero. A particle of mass m glides without friction on the cycloid given by x equal to a into theta minus sin theta y equal to a into 1 plus cos theta with 0 less than equal to theta less than equal to 2 pi then the equation of motion of the particle is there are four options so we have to find the equation of motion of the particle so for this we have to find the lagrangian of the particle so to find the Lagrangian of particle first we have to find kinetic and potential energy of the particle so kinetic of the kinetic energy of the particle should be t equal to half m x dot square plus y dot square okay here x dot x equal to what x equal to a into theta minus sin theta so x dot will be x dot will be a into d d t of theta minus sin theta so it will becomes a into theta dot minus cos theta into theta dot so a into 1 minus cos theta into theta dot so x dot is this so now y equal to is what a y equal to a into 1 plus cos theta so y dot will be d d t of a into 1 plus cos theta so from here we will get a into minus sin theta into theta dot so basically we get a minus a sin theta into theta dot so y dot equal to this one so the kinetic energy should be t equal to half m into x dot square m into x dot square means x dot is this one x dot is this one and y dot is this one so from x dot what we get x dot is square a square 1 minus cos theta the whole square to the power square into theta dot square plus a square sin square theta into theta dot square we can take common a square theta dot square so we will get half m a square theta dot square 1 minus cos theta to the power 2 will becomes 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta here we get sin plus sin square theta now what we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta 1 so 1 plus 1 will be 2 so there we get 2 minus 2 cos theta if I take 2 common then we get what m a square theta dot square 2 if I take if we take 2 common there so 2 to cross off so we get m a square theta dot square 1 minus cos theta ok so t becomes m a square theta dot square 1 minus cos theta so t becomes a m a square theta dot square 1 minus cos theta ok now the potential energy you will be what m g h h means here y so m g y means a into 1 plus cos theta so t equal to the kinetic energy t equal to this kinetic energy and the potential energy becomes u equal to m g a into 1 plus cos theta ok now the Lagrangian will be Lagrangian will be kinetic energy minus potential energy so T minus U so Lagrangian will be T minus U means M A square theta dot square into 1 minus cos theta minus M G A into 1 plus cos theta now this is the Lagrangian of this of the particle ok this is the Lagrangian of the particle now we have to find the equation of motion of the particle 
so the equation of motion of the particle will 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 get from the euler lagrange equation so what is euler lagrange equation euler lagrange equation equation is del l del theta minus ddt of del l del theta dot equal to 0 so what is del l del theta del l del theta equal to from this what we get 1 minus cos theta that means minus sin theta minus minus plus sin theta so we will get cos theta derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta so minus sin theta so there is a, another minus so we will get from this we will get um, m a square theta dot a square plus sin theta ok now from this what we get from this we get minus sin theta so minus minus here plus so that will becomes plus plus mga sin theta so del l del theta becomes this ok del l theta becomes this now del l del theta dot so here only there is theta dot uh, otherwise there is no theta dot there is no theta dot there is only theta dot square so we will get we will get from 2m square theta dot because theta dot square derivative with respect to theta dot uh, 2 theta dot so into 1 minus cos theta ok so now we have to find ddt of this term so ddt of del l del theta dot what we get del l theta dot let's see 2 m 2 m a square a 2 m a square 2 m a s m a square theta dot 2 m a square theta dot into 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos theta so we will get 2 m a square is common first from this we get theta double dot into 1 minus cos theta plus theta dot into derivative of this we will get minus minus plus sin theta into theta dot ok so basically we get 2m square 1 minus cos theta into theta double dot plus sin theta into theta dot square ok so we get ddt of del theta del del l del theta dot do equal to this so from euler lagrange equation what we will get uh, what we get del l del theta equal to this one and de so del l del theta is m a square theta dot m a square theta dot square sin theta m a square theta dot square sin theta plus mga sin theta plus mga sin theta minus this term so it will be minus 2m a square 1 minus cos theta into theta double dot plus sin theta into theta dot square we will divide by this 2m a square so we will get here minus minus 2m a square so we will get minus half theta dot square sin theta here we will get g by 2a into sin theta here we will get plus 1 minus cos theta into theta double dot plus sin theta into theta dot square equal to 0 sorry here should be 0 now equal to 0 so see this term from this term we will get minus half minus half minus minus plus theta plus theta dot square sin theta as z by 2a into sin theta plus 1 minus cos theta into theta double dot so rearranging this equal to 0 from this is first cos theta into theta double dot plus half into sin theta into theta dot square minus z by 2a 
into sin theta equal to 0 let now let's check the option this is the equation of motion of the particle in the uh, in the first question what is said 1 minus cos theta into theta double dot let's see we will get this one 1 minus cos theta into theta double dot now in second term is what half sin theta theta dot square half sin theta theta dot square and third term is what g minus g by 2a into sin theta minus z by 2a into sin theta so option 1 should be true and other option should be false so the equation of motion of the particle is option 1 so option 1 is correct thank you for watching this video thank you very much